book day tomorrow. It's last week seemed a lot. Well, in my for me, last week was a busier week. It was this heavy week last still week. Still some great books. Oh my god! Um, yes. What are you guys getting tomorrow? McClay, we'll start with you. Um, they're really you know last week was such a heavy week that uh, this week um, I don't really I don't really know what I'm looking for this week. Um, I saw the Usagi Ujimbo book is out. Um, I love Usagi Ujimbo. I usually, uh, you know, like to jump in on that stuff. So um, I might pick up the uh, the new uh, cover B Usagi Ujimbo with Stan Sakai and Julie Sakai. It's their variant. Um, I uh, I like where this story is going with uh, you know the new character, and uh, I enjoy that type of stuff. Actually, let me share my screen here real quick. There we go. So um, I might take a look at this. Um, I uh, I kind of decided uh, lately that I am going to start trying to get into books that I enjoy reading a little bit more rather than books that I'm just specking on for cover plays and stuff. So uh, I'm really looking forward to start, uh, you know, checking out some of the stuff that you guys talk about um, a, a little bit more and people that, uh, you know, I'm doing content with that are talking about a little bit more rather than just uh, trying to play so much in the uh, in the spec game um in the cover game and that type of stuff so um but this also kind of looked interesting to me because i am my favorite character in the marvel universe is the watcher i, I kept love looking at that I, I i felt marvel wasted the opportunity there's no scotty young cover for this one is there exactly and the only problem with this is i am not a fan of dan slot i i tried with, i tried to be a fan of him when he was writing spider-man and superior he was just, spider-man was decent superior that's that. you're 100 right i will give you that superior was amazing but then like it it never and after that it never worked for me like uh superior was great because i think it was kind of weird and i like that so I'm going to give this, uh, even though I'm not a huge fan of Dan Slott anymore, I'm going to give it a shot because I am a fan of The Watcher. And it might be a little weird, and I like that. I like uh, Silver Surfer, Galactus stuff. I like The Watcher. So we're going to jump on this, this uh, uh, Fantastic Four uh, Trial of The Watcher. So The Reckoning War. My biggest thing with Dan Slott, and this is just, of course, my opinion, is there, there was a hubris issue also where he got to where you, you're writing books for readers to read, and he would just come out and say it like, I don't give a shit what you want. I'm writing what I want to write. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like, well, they're not very good anymore, bro. Speaking of Momoko, there is a Momoko variant for this. Oh, um, that isn't nice. bad. That actually, yeah, this isn't bad. I actually kind of like this a little bit. Um, but perfect opportunity for a baby. Scotty. Yes. Oh, big yeah. time, dude. Yep. Big time. Um, this was... Uh, there is a Dodderman variant um, that Ooh. they're saying cover coming soon. Everybody knows that Dodderman variants have been pretty crazy. So if it's all the different, you know, watchers in a Dodderman variant, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. So I miss, I, I, I like the way certain people draw the watcher and who want to and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't dislike this one, but sometimes they draw the watcher really bad. I really like Jim Chung's way of drawing the watcher. He was one of my favorites, um, along with uh, John Byrne, when you know back in the Fantastic Four era. Um, you know, there's there's a couple guys that really do it well, and uh, I'm I'm interested to see you know some of the art on this and so the storyline where it goes. I was really really bummed out when they killed him off um, in um, what was it, Original Sin. Um, so bummed out that I bought the uh, the cover for Original Sin number zero, and uh, love it to this day. But it's good to see something coming back with the character after What If and all that stuff, and Jeffrey Wright doing such a good job. So those are uh, those are my two books. Did I mention it would be so cool to see a baby variant with Galactus and the Watcher? Yes, 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 you did. But I don't know. It'd be hard to have the Galactus there because remember they have that Galactus one with Silver Surfer where he's using the yeah. the world as a cereal bowl. So that's a but good I mean, one. like yeah, like a playground fight or something. That yes, was... something. It's perfect. You're right. It, is Jeffrey Wright's Watcher black? I can't tell. I can't tell either because he's like always look, in shadow and yeah, yeah. Um, this, I think this. Uh, where is it? Or did where did it go? Did I miss it right here? I think the variant for this, the Noto variant, 
kind of reminds me of what they were trying to go with a little bit in the uh, what if. But look at look at Mr. Fantastic. Doesn't uh-huh. he look a little bit like yeah. John Krasinski right uh-huh. here? I'm glad I'm not the only one that was thinking that earlier. I yeah. just didn't remember how to pronounce his last name, so I kept my mouth shut. Yeah. He so. reminds me of the lead singer of Sugar Ray. I'm just kidding. Oh, God. And look oh. how good jo- uh, Johnny Storm looks right here. He looks great. Mm-hmm. So. Well, you're never really going to get a bad cover from Noto or Ray. No, you're right. Sure. You're right. He's so good. So, yeah, looking forward to this one. We'll see what happens. Yep. Beard, Beardo. Uh, wow. Tomorrow is going to be epic. Uh, my poll list is coming in at a whopping, uh, massive whopping $27.93. You could just Star Wars, though, right? It was epic after last week. Yeah, Star Wars. Uh, I'm looking forward to Star Wars Halcyon Legacy. If I'm yeah, that right. that cover A is gorgeous. By the way, yeah, I'm yep. trying to find it. It's I just saw it. There it is. And I and I like where they're going with pretty much like the white background, white, mostly white comic book, and it almost looks like a sketch variant to a degree. And they did that with issue one. Here's issue two. I for anybody that's been watching my channel and watching my con- content knows that I am. 100% full bore Star Wars everything. I'm buying it all. It's yeah, you're a star been, whore. Uh, you're darn right I am. There's that corner, Star Corner 101 right there that I'm going to be on tomorrow. <laughs> um, like, literally, like, I had some gripes and groans over the last couple of years with, like, Wong writing some Dr. Afra stuff, but everything else, it, it kind of it kind of doesn't matter. Even mediocre Star Wars books have been tough to get after a certain period of time so i'm buying all of them and and i'm enjoying them thoroughly this one has been fun to start out i'm really interested to see where this continues to go i don't know if this is going to be ongoing or if this is going to be a mini series but it seems like every week comes up star wars week for me now they're releasing something every week but so are they using this are they building the backstory for the the disney hotel because it's it's named right galactic yeah. star cruiser halcyon yeah i six thousand dollar two night stay I think you're right, but it has roots in High Republic too. There's some yeah. um, time hopping a little bit, and it does some. Uh, yeah, because building... this is Ara Singh right here, who is, you know, not High Republic era. Uh uh-uh. uh. But uh, it, it had some um, flashbacks to like the High Republic era. So there's some time. There's not tie ins, but there's some information there. And I just think they're going to continue to pump out really good Star Wars story stories going forward. And this is Sax and Sliney on this and Rosenberg. And uh it's really a really good uh creative team with Will Sliney's great. Will Sliney is absolutely great. Really good artist. The uh, uh other cover I'm looking forward to not just cover but read is uh Stillwater comes out with a one shot tomorrow called yeah. The Escape. And Zadarsky's been phenomenal on that. That's been a really fun ride. That one I'm looking forward to as well. Sudarsky's. There you go. Right there. Remains one of my favorite writers. Down one and over left. Boom. Right there. Thank you, sir. There you go. Now, I was kind of surprised at how good Stillwater has been. And uh, I'm behind by a, a couple of issues. So I don't know if it ended yet. And this is just a one shot to finalize the story. But it's such an underrated book. Is this okay. Skybound? Yeah. It is, yes. Interesting. And nice. this is a. Uh... This is like a book they're releasing before the last arc. Okay, so yeah. it falls right in there. Um, and Stillwater is excellent. I don't know how it's not optioned. It, it's it's an easy easy option that we know of. That we know of, yeah. Well, I mean, the basically the premise of the story is a small town tucked away in uh, Middle America that not many people know about, where people can't die. I mean, like. And they don't age either, so they don't age and they don't die. It's just perpetual. It's just it's go ahead. Purgatory. Yeah, yeah, and it's and a it's a it's a beautiful premise. It's so easy to make. You don't need special. You don't need a lot of you know hoopla to make it. The production budget would be simple, but it 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 tells like very raw stories. I Remind- I don't want this as a movie. I want this as a streaming series. I want this as on HBO series, Max. Yeah. I want yeah. like a Taylor Sheridan style. Yeah, six six uh, show series, you know, hour piece. I'm like I'm, I'm leaning more towards those kind of story. Um, like the Planet of the Apes films, the sequels. It's sort of like that in Walking Dead. It's got that, you know, 
ask big questions about people and what what they're about um based on the circumstance and, <laughs> and it's on some landers who am yeah. i <laughs> and uh, have heavily overlooked series for a long time that didn't start getting a lot of recognition until the second or third arc and i know brian you actually had an exclusive variant available for issue one that i was yeah. able to get a copy of yeah we did an exclusive but partnered with 616 uh, of wando cover that actually sold pretty well yeah, it's still easy to get um, issue one. Yeah. And if you just want to pick it up to read the story, the trade, there's always the trades. Yep. So nine ninety nine image skybound get you hooked. Yep. Is that um yeah, look at that frizzin. Well, even the cover A is great, but some more frizzin goodness. Man. She's good. Probably you just stole Dan's pick. I know it was mine as well, but Dan, you're reading Basilisk, right? I am reading Basilisk, so issue eight, I don't think it's the last one, but it, it seems to be amping up to some sort of conclusion because, well, I don't want to go into spoilers, I guess, but um, what a great series. I think it's one of the better Colin Bunn. Since uh, Bone Parish for Boom. I love Bone Parish, by the way. Um, and the Phantom on the Scan was like the same series almost. They almost had the same premise, but that was way more horror, and this is more adventure. Um it's got that something that's killing the children vibe too a little bit um so yeah i'm looking forward to it a lot it's a series i'm enjoying what else do you have i have my pen ready because a lot of times we have the same pick so i can just cross them out well i i also am going to get soul plumber issue six because soul plumber has been is a messed up wild comic um Love Way it. better than I expected. That reminds I've me like the old Dungeons it. and Dragons cartoon. This is, it, it's so brutal. Like, it's like beyond, it's almost, I don't know. It's like so brutal. I'm surprised DC published it, to be honest. It's like what so. Black label, right? It's got like a yeah, Battle Pope vibe to it, kind of, yeah. too. Uh huh. It's grotesque and funny as hell. And the lead yeah. is just so likable and misguided. Um, reminds me of Peacemaker, actually, in a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to read the final issue. I'm excited about that, and um, I guess Slumber issue one. Ordinarily, it you know it's about you know dream detectives and whatever. Yeah, and, it's a nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> we always see these movies all the time. Like, there's always like comics about. Yeah, this well, same there was comic. another one. Like, was it? Image did one. I was like, was it? Or it might have been Boom Dreamweaver. Or there's a couple like in 2011, 2012 time frame that were reminded yeah. me. They could be way off, but that's what this reminded me. Of. Yeah. Where is yeah. it? Where am I? Am I missing? What am I not seeing it? But I think because the writer Tyler Burton Smith, who works on, who worked on like he's working on the Kung Fury franchise and Child's Play, and I think he's sort of a wild writer. I'm like, I'm because. Ex- you know, when you make a story about dreams and entering dreams, it can go many directions. It can be like Inception or it can be like Paprika, right? And and this feels like more Paprika. It feels a lot more like... Cause, Donnie Darko? You know, Inception's fun, but um, it, it's not like... That's not how dreams are, you know? Like, dreams can be much more colorful like this, right? So, hopefully, I- this writer is going to make it much more fun than... You know, Dan, not as cliche. Yeah. Have you ever seen City of the Lost Children? Yes, I have. Jean that Pierre is my Genese. yeah. That is my top three favorite movies of all time. And when I think about like dreams and the weird play on dreams that they had in that movie, um, if you guys haven't seen City of the Lost Children, do yourself a favor, find it. Um, it's a French film that is next level type shit. Ron Perlman is one of the leads, and he barely speaks a word. Yep. Did you yeah. say was that the one with Clive Owen? Was Clive Owen in that? No, 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 no. That's a uh, City of Men or City yeah. or something like City that. City Lost Children is by the same guy that did Delicatessen and Amelie. And Amelie, big, yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's just he's a genius, and I love the guy that he uses in all his films. He does a great job of using him in City Lost Children because there's like ten different of them. Dominique Pinon, yeah, who is in Alien Resurrection, yeah. yeah. I, so, well, so it, back in high school, I used to be like, uh, I used to be in, like, do pranks, and I would run Dominic Pinon's face for student body treasure. I had his face as a student, and I pretended his name was Gonzo Morris, and he and he started all these clubs, and he was 
after all this stuff and he was winning <laughs> elections and stuff. No one knew it was me. But um, I used Dominique Pinon's face to represent this mysterious student to make a mockery of all the students that work too hard for no, for no reason and they don't know why. <laughs> Did you guys see um uh hive comics and uh wanted comics variants for these i was gonna say there's a couple of good store exclusives out there for it yeah yeah wanted uh let me see here let me find it i'll look for it real quick i think it was on instagram was it instagram you're on Jump, instagram john pierre Genet also has a new film on netflix that came out like very recently like a month ago really Do you, yeah. what's it called i don't know i don't know it just came out, but um. So this is uh, this one right here. The one Ooh. on the right is uh, the Hive Comics one by Brian Silverbacks. It's a takeoff on um, what's that? Bunny what's mask? <laughs> no, it's a takeoff on uh, Hard Boiled. I think it was. Oh yeah. Um, and then the one on the left is one of comics um, by Johnny Desjardins. And Johnny Desjardins, this is like one of his styles. If you guys have ever seen Johnny Desjardins, like he does like these really cool, like colorful, weird type things, um, as you guys can see here. And uh, this is the one he did for Slumber. So you guys can get those from either, I think Hive Comics and Wanted Comics both did a thing where they kind of like... Uh, you know, kind of help each other out type deal and, and nice. um, selling each other's books. So be on the lookout for these two copies right here. So good stuff. Yeah, that's a crazy one, man. Do you have anything else, Dan? Um, No, 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 not really. No, that's, that's pretty much um, my picks. Another, since you're talking about slumber and horror comics, Black Caravan, that imprint from Scout's been doing some great horror comics. Um, they got that Playthings number one that comes out tomorrow, too. That looks pretty interesting. Um, Playthings number one yeah. from uh, Scout? Yeah, or their Black Caravan imprint, right? Let me see if I can find it. I hate trying to find all these. I wish they would just go by. There you go. Yeah. Next row down, middle. I wish they would just go by um, alphabetical. Yeah. Ooh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That's nightmare fuel. Yeah, big time. So, hmm, it's weird. Yeah, it looked interesting to me, and then, um, if right above that, remember that that faithless cover I was talking about? Um, up one, you you passed it to the right one book. Ooh, yeah. Well, nice. click on that, and then there's a um, wow. Well, and then of course, if you know about Faithless, but that cover right there, um, Ooh. Like much of the name. But they did another cover for like DC, and I was like, I don't like that. But then I saw this one, I was like, I kind of like. That's kind of what's that other image book that has the magazine type covers? Um, not. I collected it too. I have them all. Um, you're not talking about Wicked and the Divine. Yeah, Wicked and Divine. Oh. Yeah. It yeah. does remind me of Wicked and Divine. Yeah, that was such a great series, man. I'm I'm surprised McKelvey, that hasn't been right? optioned. Yeah, so. it was so good. It was so like Wicked and Divine is one of my favorite comics of the last five years, man. I think it is optioned. There's just there's no news though. No it's news. Like in yeah. Development hell. Yeah. So it's probably past its option and just waiting to be picked up again or something. Not sure. Yeah, I hate that when that happens, man. And then there was one other indie book. Um, I think it's from Blaze. Uh, Life Zero number two. I'm a big Chichetto fan. And there's oh, a yeah. incentive kind of wraparound variant for that. Chichetto has a couple down one right there. That's a Chichetto cover also. But Wow. Damn. Chichetto is, is right, one of my... Th the middle one, one also. <laughs> the, the wraparound right there. Chichetto is my one of my favorite Daredevil cover Holy artists. Holy crap. You see Last of Us in that, don't you, Alberto? Yeah. Like, but, yeah, I'm a huge... Remember that Chichetta? What was it? Um, Was it X-Force? What he did with Winter Soldier? Yeah, that was kind of sitting down. amazing. Yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> oh, I loved Heavy Metal Drummer 1, but I haven't been able to find it. I, yeah. I already can tell you I love, number two I love comes it. Out tomorrow. That is yeah. a blaze, though. That's... that's I just... <clears throat> so I don't want to... Okay. Yeah, it is a blaze. <sighs> So yeah, I mean, just all indie picks for me this week. 
so so the the heavy metal drummer number two is right here this just is a great looking series oh, um, no. a lot of people had a hard it's time like a terminator finding homage it. right there yeah yeah except the, the, it's a cloud of farts yeah look yeah. at the the variants on Blink this on man. Express. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It's creepy, man. It's got. It's really weird, but I like weird like this. So good cop, bad cop, heavy metal. Yeah. Cover. There you go. Seek and destroy. Seek, destroy, and return. Warrior moving at the will of the cosmic mirror. Dave trades his drumsticks in for an ax and is sent to hunt down the parasitic agents. Meanwhile, the possessed elderly women continue to seduce and capture unsuspecting Johns. That is a, <laughs> that is out, out there, man. That is very specific. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. This is just, it looks great from the beginning. That's like <clears throat> killer clowns from outer space. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. So there's our picks for new comic book day. 